Kevin Cobb, Michael Vick. Wow. The, the, there, counterpoint. There's a, there's a, yeah, we could do that. Mm. You know, everybody thought at the beginning of the year it's going to be Kevin Cobb's team, and we were anticipating that, looking forward to a new change. We, we had high expectations for him. He didn't look good for the first quarter when he played before the concussion. And I'll tell you what, Mike Vick has looked pretty darn good out yes, there. Yeah. What do you think, who should be the quarterback for week three of the NFL season for the Philadelphia Eagles, and then therefore? Well, you know, thereafter, the, whatever. The, the bottom line here is that they, 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 they made this plan that involved trading Donovan McNabb, that involved giving Kevin Cobb a contract, that involved uh, making him the starter and saying he is our starter going forward and he fits our offense. He fits the way we want to play. I don't think you can completely scrap that after one half of football, which is really only you got less than a half of football to play before he got to play. But this is such a weird situation for the Eagles because now, I, I, of course, he's going to start on, on Sunday against uh, Jacksonville. If he doesn't play well, how long do you wait until you make a move? And at what point, at what point if you're Andy Reid, the coach, at what point do you start to – Lose the ability to look the, your players in the eye in the locker room and say we're giving our we're giving our back. You know you're busting your butt. You're doing everything, putting your body on the line. Am I doing everything to win this game today that you're putting your body on the line in? Uh, it, it's a really unique situation and a unique problem. And uh, to some degree, Andy Andy Reid created it himself. But but I mean it's it's tough. It's not easy. Here's what I think of that plan. You just All right. throw the oh, plan right out there the window. You go. I love the visual aids. The, the plan doesn't matter anymore. Vic adds an extra element to that offense, which is he can run. The offensive line is not the best line in the business. Vic allows that scrambling ability, but, but also keeps defenses honest. The other th interesting thing was, Mike, uh, these young players came up and were drafted with Cobb, but these young players remember Vic when he was in his heyday with Atlanta, when he was an All-Pro. What I saw against Detroit makes me think you scrap the plan for right now and you go with Vic, who gives well, you the see, chance I don't think to you win can now. Scrap you the play plan the for right game now. to win. I think you either scrap it permanently or you or you stay with it. I don't think you could scrap it for right now. I don't think there's any such thing. Now let me throw something at you. Start. All right. Now uh, Cobb signed famously. We, we talk about he signed a lot of. He's making a lot of money. He, uh, I, I went and looked at the details. Two years, twelve point two five million. Ten, um, most of it, it's fully guaranteed, almost $11 million in signing bonus. So really, that money's gone forever. I mean, if you're going to say, well, we're paying him all this money, well, that's really, that money's gone. It's sunk. Um, Michael Vick is 30. You know, maybe you can say, if you're the Eagles, I'm just throwing this out there, maybe you can say, Michael Vick is our quarterback, uh, until we find another quarterback, until we find, until we draft a quarterback to next year or the year after that or the year after that, and and Kevin Cobb has to go, has to be has to be dealt then, has to be traded or or, or something. I, I I just think that you can. I'm, I'm not saying that this plan is etched in stone forever, but I'm saying that you can't scrap this plan after one half of football. That's all I'm saying. Michael Vick is 30, the same year that Steve Young took over the 40 Right, Niners. yeah, right, And, and exactly. Vick now, after getting to sit behind McNabb, just like Young sat behind Montana, got to watch. I'm not impressed with the guy's character, but I did like what I saw on the field from the guy. Now, the Eagles standpoint, Cobb is obviously younger. You might want to say, hey, an Aaron Rodgers situation, we, we, we go 6-10 and 10 or whatever happens this year, and next year we could have Aaron Rodgers, and look, we could be competing. But Michael Vick, he is only 30. He can give you several good years, and guess what? They have a third-string quarterback they did draft in Mike Kafta, who they're very high on. They might already have the, 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 the that's, air That's parents. possible, yeah. That's possible. I mean, I mean, Kafka's got a long way to go. He's never played in a pro system or anything like that. But he is he is a talented guy. He is a guy. I think he's a good prospect just from having seen him play against Penn State. So, so so, I mean, I, I think there's a plan, and I, I don't think we're at the stage of scrapping the plan, but I think we are at the stage where, hey, we need to see results from the plan, or maybe we try another plan, and this is some of the things that we're throwing at you.